Not even the mighty Paris Saint-Germain have picked up as many points as Nîmes over the past five match days. 12 out of 15, which has seen Le Croco move into the top half of the table. Having beaten Dijon, Strasbourg, Amiens and Caen, the promoted side faced a rather stiffer challenge as second place Lille travelled to the Stade des Costières on Sunday. One of just three teams to have played both this weekend and last. Despite the protests in France, Lille had a chance to open up a five-point gap over Montpellier, who have seen both of their games postponed. Christophe Gartier's side have picked up more points in 17 games this season than they managed in 34 last term. And if they could make it to 34 points here, they would even get an extra day's holiday over the winter break. Well, that carrot dangled by their coach had the desired effect as Lille went in front on just four minutes. Raphael Leao heading in his second goal of the campaign after Nicola Pepe was denied there by Paul Bernardoni. Brilliant start from Lille. Pepe all alone in the area. And there was the Portuguese teenager, Leao, to follow up. But Lille's task became more complicated in just the 16th minute of the game as they were reduced to 10 men. Experienced defender Jose Font shown a straight red card for descent after an exchange with the linesman. Given his marching orders to the fury of Christophe Galtier who would himself be sent to the stands a few minutes later by the referee. So things not exactly going Lille's way, in spite of them having that one goal lead. So Galtier heading up into the stands and Nîmes looking to make their extra man count. Coming down the left flank here with Theo Valls. Tony Buanga managing to carve out a bit of space and get a shot away, but nothing to trouble Mike Mignon, the Lille goalkeeper. And it was, in fact, Lille who got the game's second goal. Four minutes before half-time. Zeki Celik coming forward here. The ball out to Jonathan Bamba. And his shot taking a wicked deflection. Lobbing Bernardoni, who got a hand to it, but couldn't stop it crossing the line. And so an eighth goal of the campaign for Bamba. whose shot was deflected there off Jordan Ferry, former Leon man. And a bit of a stunned atmosphere at the Stante Costier. Ten-man Lille leading by two goals to nil at the interval. Again, the men in red who have been in pretty good form in their home stadium this campaign. Looking to hit back from the kickoff at the start of the second half. A chance for their Turkish forward, Umut Bozok. A good save there from Menyon. Lille boasting the fourth best defence in Ligue 1 Conferama coming into this one. Bernard Blackheart's men continuing to test Menyot. Good stuff there to keep out that free kick. And would you believe it, in the 66th minute, Pepe made it 3-0. A wonderful solo effort. Striding forward and just firing it into the corner. Pepe going level with Kylian Mbappe and Emiliano Salah on 12 goals at the top of the scoring charts. Well, that was 3-0. But a couple of minutes later, Nîmes did get a goal back through Rashid Aliwi. The ball given away there by Fode Palotore. And it was a wonderful finish from the Moroccan forward. First time hit, nothing Mignon could do about that one, rooted to the spot. Fourth of the campaign then for Aliwi. And it was a second goal for the hosts. Come on to pray, heading in late in the game. This the 92nd minute, second of the campaign from him. But it was too little, too late as it finished 3-2 to Lille. The northern side tightening their grip on second place. They're temporarily five points clear of Montpellier and at least three clear of Lyon before their game against Monaco on Sunday.